more about all this at the end of the video. But right now, let's get to the video. Now, just as one quick application, let's ask how many outcomes of six coin flips give us exactly three heads? Well, you can think of this as how many ways are there to choose uh, the three positions at which the three heads will occur. In other words, you could get uh, this represents the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth flip, or the first through six coins if you're flipping six different coins. So, for example, the heads could occur in the first, second, and third, first, second, and fourth, first, second, and fifth, first, second, and sixth positions, or the first head could occur in the second, then you could have second, third, fourth, second, third, fifth, second, third, sixth, etc. You could list those, you could count those, but we know that the number of combinations of three positions chosen out of six is C of six three. So it's going to be, you have C of six three, ways to get exactly three heads. And excuse me for standing in front of this dark screen with a bright shirt, which fades out the screen. Usually I don't wear the bright shirt. I didn't realize I was going to be making videos today. Okay. Um, now, <coughs> we can easily evaluate C of 6-3 using this, but why don't we just go to Pascal's triangle? Okay. C of 6-3 occurs in row 6 at position 1, 2, 3. Uh, see, I messed up. I want 1, 2, 3. Sorry, we start with 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's 20. Don't make the mistake I almost made there. Okay, we want to start with 0, as I've already emphasized. So, C of 6, 3 is 20 ways. One more thing we can determine. Uh, if we flip 6 coins, we're either going to get zero heads, which happens one time, one head, which happens six ways, 15 heads, which happens uh, 15 heads, two heads, which happens 15 ways, three heads, which, as we just saw, happens 20 ways, four heads, which happens 15 ways. And we can calculate that again, either by the formula or looking at the Pascal's triangle. Six ways to get five heads, exactly five heads, and one way to get exactly six heads. Well, how many possible outcomes are there? We're either going to get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 heads. So if we add up these numbers, we're going to get the total number of outcomes you can get if you flip three, uh, 6 coins. Okay, well, if we add up these numbers, what do we get? Okay, if you add these numbers up, well, 1 plus 6 and so forth gives us if you added them accurately, it gives us 64. Again, this represents the number of ways you can get zero heads, number of ways you can get one, the number of ways you can get two, etc. Number of ways you can get three, four, five, six heads, and that's all you can do. You can get zero through six heads in this many ways, which means that there are 64 possibilities, 64 possible outcomes, equally likely outcomes, when you flip six coins. Okay? Now we could make a we could begin a tree for six coins. Now obviously I don't have room to do the whole tree, but first flip could be heads or tails. The second flip could be heads or tails. The third flip could be heads or tails. Now if we continue this on until we've done six flips, well, every flip we're going to double the number of possibilities. So we start with two on the first flip. We do a second flip, and now we've got double two or four possibilities. If we do another flip, we're going to have twice as many or eight possibilities. That's three flips. A fourth flip will double that to give us double of eight is 16. The fifth flip will double the 16 to give us 34, and the sixth flip will give us 64. If you don't believe me, Write out the tree yourself. Take a big piece of paper, write things pretty small, 
and count up your results. You will see that there are 64 possible outcomes when you flip six coins. So I'll add one more statement. The sum of rho n is the number of possible outcomes for n coins. So if I want to know how many outcomes there are for seven coins, of course I could double 64 and get 128. I could raise seven, uh, two to the seventh power, I would get, <coughs> excuse me, 128. If I add up the numbers in this row, I'll get 128, assuming that I've got all my numbers right. Okay, if you're still with us, uh, the address at which you can find access to well over 2,500 videos, more than 300 hours, is http colon double slash vhmthphy dot vhcc dot edu slash vmenu dot html. Videos covering all college transfer courses taught at my institution in mathematics and physics, including calculus-based engineering physics, up through multivariable vector calculus, and introductory ordinary differential equations. 